do 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 I wanna be like you ooh, ooh. I wanna walk like you Talk like you ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hello everybody, we're back! This is Tiger and I'm Tim and together we are Tiger and Tim and we have a very special adventure lined up for you today. We're going to save the planet. You look amazing, Tiger. But before you all enjoy that and find out exactly where we're going, roll titles, Tiger! Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tiger and Tim. Rawr! And click the notification bell, please. Hooray! Welcome to the show, Tiger Cubs, and you, Tiger. And the first job of the day for all of you at home is this very special riddle that you must get right to come on our adventure. I've got my special riddle joke glasses for it. <laughs> you ready, Tiger? Okay. High in the trees, I screech and shout. I can swing by my tail to move about. What am I? And where do I live? Did you get it, Tiger? Yes, Tiger! It's a monkey! And they live in the rainforest, don't they? And that's right, Tiger Cubs. We are going on an adventure to save the rainforest and save our Earth. Whoop whoop! Yay! Hooray! But now we know where we're going and now we know that Tiger's a superhero and that we're going to save the planet, how are we going to get to the rainforest? Tiger's magic paw that opens the special secret tunnel door. Okay, Tiger, show us your power and take us to your special secret tunnel of terrific travels. I'm going to need my glasses for this as usual. Let's go! Woo! Wow, your special secret tunnel of travels is the fastest place I've ever been. And why are there flying snakes in here, Tiger, with us? I know they live in the rainforest, but I want my mummy. <laughs> what do you mean, forget my mummy? And you'll only let me and the kids at home leave the tunnel, will you? To meet the monkeys and the tribes people if we get a 10 out of 10 score in your tongue twister. Okay, but be quick. You know this bus has bad brakes. It's time for Tiger's Tongue Twister. And here's what it is this time. The swift snake slithered silently into the sea. The swift snake slithered silently into the sea. Yay, we did it. Well done, Tiger Cubs. 10 out of 10 for all of you. Now, Tiger, the tunnel is closing in, and there's a dead end. Jump! Ah! Phew, we made it, Tiger. When are you going to get our London buses brakes fixed? Naughty boy. But look, it's amazing. It's the Amazon rainforest. We're here. Wow. Did you know? Amazon is thousands of miles in size and has around 40,000 plants, thousands of fish, birds and other animals and around 30 million people, including about 400 different tribes. Incredible. I've got to know more about it on our adventure, Tiger. It's called an amazing Amazon adventure. Make sure you read along with us, tiger cubs, grown-ups, and any parrots, fish, monkeys, or snakes watching from the rainforest. <laughs> it was a misty, damp morning when Tiger and Tim arrived in the Amazon. 
Sammy the scientist was excited to show them one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Tiger wondered why it looked a little strange though. Sammy, why are there roads in the middle of the forest? He said. Well, Tiger, the trees in the rainforest are being chopped down, which is really sad, as over half the world's plants and animals live here. Suddenly, Oscar the orangutan swung from the tree. Hello, friends. Are you here to help save our home? He said. Why, of course, Tiger replied. They all jumped into Sammy's Jeep, and it wasn't long before Samantha the Sloth and Tommy the Toucan joined them. Tommy said, follow me everyone. Tommy took them to what looked like a very dangerous place. Brum brum, brum brum, sounded the busy chainsaw. The noise scared Tiger. But what scared him even more was that he could not see any tribespeople dressed in their beautiful bright colours and body paint. Instead, all he saw were lots of humans shouting, Timber! Tiger whispered to Samantha the Sloth, Who are these people? And why are they so far from home? Samantha told Tiger all about how naughty humans were chopping down her favorite trees and that rainforests were quickly disappearing around the world. Tiger stepped up, cleared his throat and said, excuse me, kind sir, why are you cutting down these spectacular trees? The man was not very kind and ignored Tiger's question. Tiger knew he needed a different plan. How about for every tree you cut down, you plant a new one in its place? Humans are destroying the rainforest and they will totally disappear if it continues. The man thought that this was a fantastic idea. He then turned to Tommy, Samantha and Oscar and said, we promise we will look after your home from now on. Tiger was so excited that he had managed to help save the rainforest. If every person did a little to help protect our planet from now on, it would be a much better place, he thought. Next on his adventure was a meeting with the Yaguar tribe. Tiger wanted to tell them what he had done but they were having a party. Wow, said Tiger. I have never seen such an amazing celebration. Please, can we join in, he asked. Of course, said Sammy. But you must wear the traditional dress. Thanks, <laughs> Sammy. So Tiger and Tim changed. <laughs> and joined in the fantastic <laughs> celebration. Stop laughing at me, tiger. It's not a dress. They danced and ate and had the best night of their lives. Staring up at the sky and watching the twinkling of the beautiful stars, tiger whispered to Tim, we need to tell the world about this special place and we must tell the world that we should all do our bit to save it. Tim smiled and said, you're right, Tiger. Rainforests are the lungs of our planet. The trees here produce much of the oxygen that allows humans like me and you to breathe. Tiger couldn't believe his ears. The rainforest was not only beautiful, full of amazing animals and plants, but it also helped men, women and children to live. He promised to study it when they got home and come up with a plan to save our planet. The end. Wow, what an amazing adventure. And what an amazing idea, Tiger. I'm excited to read your plan. Well done, Super Tiger. 
us humans can definitely do more to protect the world in which we live. After all, there is no planet B. Hold on, I've just realized you have a meeting with Zach the zookeeper for your tigers. Tiger, we've got to go if we're gonna make it back in time to see Zach. He's coming all the way from America. What do you mean your magic paw will only work and take us back if we get a quiz question right? Grr, tiger! I think we need some help here. No problem. It's me, your quiz master, with my perfectly fitting hat. Thanks very much. See, it's a great fit. <laughs> and I have a question to get you safely home. And you, Tiger, of course. Are you ready? We all know that rainforests create oxygen for us to breathe. But is it true or false that rainforests also make the air cleaner to breathe by reducing pollution? What do you think, Tiger? Yes, you're yeah. right, it's true, wow! We really need to look after our planet and protect all of those trees, don't we? Uh -huh. Now, without causing any pollution, please transport us home with your mysterious, magical, marvelous paw! I need my glasses as usual! Yahoo, let's go! Woohoo! How the tiger comes! And you, Tiger, it's me, Zach the Zookeeper, and I come with Uncle Tony the Tiger. But why weren't we invited to the Amazon jungle in South America? Why? America ain't that far from South America, you know? And did you know the Amazon rainforest is located in nine countries? But most of it, around 60%, is located in Brazil. Awesome! Mm -hmm. And there are lots of exotic animals there too, just as there are lots of good tiger cubs among you out there. Let's go see some of them little beauties right now. I can't wait to see your tigers! And this is why I couldn't wait to see them. Look, it's Noah, who's age three from the country of the Philippines. And he's with his dog, Kara, a mini Dashun. What a great pick and what a great smile, Noah. Next up, it's a couple of princesses. Here's Holly, age seven, from the United Kingdom, and she is with her cat, Bella. What a beauty! And last but not least, it's Princess Mavis, who is age five and also from the country of the Philippines. She's with her friend, Mallow the Cat. That's great! Woo! I loved it, y'all! Your tigers are the best, ain't they, tiger? Mm -hmm. Remember to send us in some pictures with you and your pets, or your tigers, as I like to call them, on the tigerandtim.com website. There's the link to upload your picture, okay? But now, I'm gonna cancel my flight back to old US of A to protect our planet. I'm gonna swim across the Atlantic Ocean right now. Wish me luck, and you have your own job to do now, Tiger, too. It's the end of the show sing-along song, ain't it? <laughs> See you, Cubs, Bye Well, what an adventure it's been, Tiger, and all of you Tiger Cubs. I am exhausted, but not as exhausted as Zack the Zookeeper probably is, but he's trying to save the planet and trying to save our Earth and our rainforest, just as I expect all of you will help to do too, since you are all members of the Tiger and Tim fan club. After all, we do expect certain things from you, as you know, to be well-mannered, 
to be kind to others, to work hard in school, to respect your elders, and to try to read as often as you can. And if you promise to do that, we will now sing our end of the show sing-along song for you, won't we? Yes! But make sure you sing along too. Work hard at school, we'll think you're cool. Learning is rather fun. We both like heat, ah, veggies and treats, but books are our favourite things. Remember to draw, not with tiger's paw, and be kind to the people you meet. Oh, we go together like strawberries and cream With Tiger and Tim You'll dare to dream Keep reading, kids! And look out for all of our other adventures. They're going to be great! And remember to save the planet! Remember to save the rainforest. We need you, young tiger cubs. Now, blow them a kiss goodbye. That's it, my boy. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye and keep watching.